this is chilling. What more can I say? Top villain. What up, everybody? It's your boy Bill Bellamy, and this is Top Villain, the number one podcast for the culture, the movement, and the discussion. We are coming to you from Chicago. We are having what I call a unbelievable exclusive for you guys. We are performing here at the Airy Crown, and I got an opportunity to get one of the funniest, sleepiest comedians. <laughs> Yo, it is no secret I have mentioned this man's name <laughs> on my podcast more than any other comedian because he's literally one of my favorite. Tony <laughs> T. Roberts is one of the funniest people I've ever seen perform live outside of Bernie Mac. I'm telling you. Whoa! Dude, come on now. That's an honor, man. Come You're on, making bro. me nervous. Stop playing now. This felt like child support court. <laughs> <laughs> this making me Yo, nervous. <laughs> man, this guy is super talented. If he comes to your city, you got to go see him. But he's here with me. Ladies and gentlemen, can we make some noise for Tony T. Roberts? Come on, clap it up. Clap it up. That's a pre that's a that's, Come on, man. That's an honor, man. No, Tony, I'm I'm giving you a flower. You Bill Bellamy. It don't matter, bro. I love you. The white bro. boy in the back, the little white kid. Clap, man. That's Bill Bellamy. <laughs> <laughs> you understand? Know Listen, I've 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 learned this man in so many different ways. We did a TV series called Mr. Box Office together. Yeah, we did like 46 episodes. 46 episodes in three days. So listen. Wait, let me <laughs> let me elaborate on that. That was my first TV show. Yes. So Bill Bellamy showed me how to, when we on stage, we're on our own. When we're in movies, you got a lot of range. In sitcom, it's a pattern. It's, yeah. a, it's a set time. You got to know how to talk, when to talk, yeah. the space. You got to count in your head, the, the, the cadence. He taught me all that. You taught me all that. I was just running off. <laughs> first of all, he's the first person to ever have ADD. Like, this no, boy, that, whatever that squirrels! shit. Squirrels! <laughs> <laughs> Listen, this man thinks so fast. No, like, 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 this is why I say you, you, you were born to be a comedian. His, his pace, his, his improv is so impeccable and it's sharp. Pop, 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 like pop, these big ass chairs, I'm in. Yeah. <laughs> I feel like I'm in Medea's bra. <laughs> why I got to have these chairs? Why I can't get no? <laughs> why I can't be up here with you? <laughs> Somebody give me some books. Oh, pillow, man. Phil, look at look at me. <laughs> My <You> daddy. <laughs> <laughs> Your feet dangling like a motherfucker. So, Tony, listen, man. I I love I love your energy, right? You are you have an infectious charm about you. You bring so much positivity to the stage. I just often wanted to ask you, like, what in the hell made you want to be a comedian? Like, where was that like beginning point for Tony T. Roberts before we even? Well, I, I wasn't really. Uh, like a class clown, like okay. people think, you know, you because my mother was real hard on us in school, so mm. we don't want to. I asked what. No, was, it was not cool when we was little to be. Yeah, be we couldn't be silly. the class clown. They tell on you. They tell my mama and she come to the school <laughs> with a wig sideways, with the tag right here. You mm. know, it'd be embarrassing. She had no bra on. I'm like, beat me, beat me, beat. <laughs> but my mother was real hard, man. So right. I wasn't. But in the neighborhood, me and my boys, we had, you know, I know it was funny with the neighborhood. Mm. But when I got out, I went into the army. Mm -hmm. Soon I got out, because I went to college for like a semester, and they gave us our books. It was this thick, and I thought it was for the four years. It was for that semester. So I walked out <laughs> to class. I ain't, I ain't ready for that. <laughs> That's too much. So I went in the military, <laughs> came out, and started doing jobs. And I Did had you do the whole four-year thing? Ten years. You did ten years in military? Yeah. Shout out and to, I wanted, to the Army? Army. Yeah. I gave. I ain't seen no battle. I ain't seen nothing like that. You ain't, ain't seen no. Yeah. You ain't seen no action. I ain't seen no action. I was. I was terrible. But <laughs> I made it through. But you know, you get out. You know, you're trying to find your before you before you become a comedian. You do a lot of jobs. I had like 14 jobs, and I wasn't good at none of them. Mm -hmm. And I said, I've got to be something I can do. So my last job, I was an LPN. I was a nurse. My I got um, one of my sisters is a nurse, uh, Le Le uh, Les, and I was a nursing assistant. And then she, I want to change diapers no more. I'm gonna give out meds. So I was LPN. A guy, I went and did a couple open mics. A guy seen me in the open mic. I had but three jokes, and they were stock jokes. Right. And uh, we know people today still do jo stock jokes. You're right. So, <laughs> uh, the guy came to me and said, hey, I'll give you $500. Or no, $250 if you do five minutes at a hair show while we tally up the scores. I said, what? 
He seen my act. He said, I like your energy. He know I ain't got no really no jokes. Right. So I did it. The next day I quit my job. You said that's it. I, I, you, never, knew, I, you knew I, you I loved count it. I count $250 in five minutes, and I'm working this, I get $250 a week. <laughs> <laughs> Dealing with old people. Dealing with old I people. I told my sister I quit. She that said, you, doo-doo need, on she said, you must give a two-week notice. I said, well, notice I ain't here for two weeks. <laughs> I ain't coming back. So I started being, trying oh to do comedy, God. man. I was first. <laughs> I don't know if you ever seen my act. I, I don't. I, I, used to, I used to stand on the mic stand. On the mic stand, I stand still and try to do. I didn't know what I wanted to be right. or who I wanted to be. Right. Or, I'm trying to do jokes. And I seen uh, Afros and Bell Bottoms. Uh, Sinbad. Sinbad. He did Afros and Bell Bottoms. And he was all over the place. And he was showing you what he was saying. And I've been breaking furniture ever since, dude. You I became only, Tony you're Roberts the only after comedian that. comedian I see destroy chairs, stools. I broke the mic last night. Every crowd In front theater. of everybody. The, the, mic, I, the mic fell out. I said, I told the crowd, wasn't this broke when I got here? Right. Everybody clapped their hands. Because so, I ain't paying for no more well, furniture. This is the thing about Tony, right? And you kind of remind me of like Jim Carrey. Um, Robin Williams is very yeah. physical. Physical comedian. Those are my guys, But man. The, thing, the thing that is so good about you is like you use your entire body. Like people, some people want to be cool. Some people want to sit down. Yeah, yeah, okay. <laughs> Can we get him a, a pillow? No, I'm good. I'm just, this motherfucker up here. Just you look, look like you in the third this look, grade. This look perverted. This motherfucker. <laughs> why the mic? Why can't hold the mic? <laughs> you, Go ahead, talk to you me. You look like you sitting on a potty. <laughs> All right, all right, we heard it. Okay, so, so listen, your, your your comedy is very physical, and what I love about you, where it's like you give everything to a joke, like you make us see it, we you make us feel it, like if a car crash, you make us see the car crash, yeah. right? Yeah. What 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 point was it in your career where you said this is this is naturally me? Like you just said, fuck, I can't be this sit down still guy. I'm I'm open. All right, this is what people don't know about me, and uh-huh. I'm doing it because you're my boy, right? Um. My comedy is back, 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 bam, 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 because right. people don't know this about me. If I say something a long time and people quiet, I'll get nervous. Right. And it'll, it'll mess with my head. Right. So I don't. So even, you go fast. And I talk through laughter. I don't care. I don't care. If, this is what I was telling you one time. I know, right? because I can't have it. I don't have no long story. He's scared. If it's, y'all, y'all don't understand. He will hit you. Yeah. He's the only comedian I've ever seen will hit you with 52 jokes in less than 30 seconds because he don't let you don't, breathe. You don't get a chance. You catching up, catching up, catching up. So you were shooting something, and I said, Tony, listen, you have to slow down one beat. You said, I can't. I can't. I said, no. <laughs> I said, Did no. I do it like that? I, I, said, I, said, I said, listen. I said, Tony, listen. I can't. I said, listen. I can't. I can't. I, can't. <laughs> I, said, I said, Tony, you got to understand. They need to hear you. You jump. You all the way in the midway to the next one. You don't let them hear you to catch up. I, I can't be concerned about that. I can't be concerned. No, <laughs> you just got to keep laughing. If you keep laughing, and before you stop laughing, you got to, you could, I left you go just enough where you can start hearing the other joke and it's bop, bop, bop. That's I don't why like you it. were a tornado. I don't like, like it quiet, man. I can't Listen do to it. me, listen to me. I've had women go into labor three times. Three women run, had to leave, mm-hmm. water break. I've had women, people cover their ears. I've had, what was we at, baby? The guy passed out, and they had to carry him. I didn't know they did it. The paramedics came in the back, got somebody out. I'm still going. I didn't know he was there. So no, I'm killing no, people. No, no, This man is killing <laughs> <laughs> I'm killing the mama. <laughs> listen, listen mama to said me. Knock if you, you out. go see this dude, you're going to know what I'm talking about. You are never, you're tearing, you're tearing. You remind me of our Def Comedy Jam days, like when people laugh so hard they cough, right? And so last night we on stage. He does this <laughs> joke. <laughs> he does a joke. I don't want to give away the joke, but he's, he's talking about his family and he's talking about like a situation and you knocked over the stool, you knocked over the chair and the mic said, that's when you broke the thing. Yeah. It was so fucking funny. No, it was a, it was a joke about um, uh, how, I'm old, so, yeah, yo. you know, when people 45 and over and you feel this in your stomach, <laughs> it ain't no joke. It's about to happen. Right. <laughs> And I see the you young boy in the time. crowd. I said, he got some his ass in eight, eight days ago. Soon ago, soon we eat some, this I go through our ass. Excuse me, gone. I'm out of here. It goes right <laughs> to your ass, and it's at the door immediately. You ain't got no time to digest it. You can't fart. You That's can't one do that. Yeah. But, 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 but when I do comedy, man, my jokes, I don't, I don't have to write the jokes. Everything I, I talk about, I'm living. 
I'm yes. living and it's yeah. happening. And you do it, you do it in talk such- Talk about my kids, talk about my wife. She over there now, I'll be on her. I'll be on her. Oh, yo, man. Did, Everybody be wanting to know, you, where you, your wife at? Did, did she really do that? I go, hell yeah. He did a joke. He, he did a joke <laughs> last night that I was dying. He was saying Which about one? he wanted to do role play, but she don't know how to read the script. <laughs> She's like, oh, ah, yeah, you're killing it. Woo! She said, you are doing me incredibly. I had to give her her, I had to give her, her script. Because she won't never talk. I said, say your lines. You are doing me incredibly. I said, that's right, whore, whore, whore. I got my, we turned the page. <laughs> and she. <laughs> oh, my God! And I got it, because I. I'm more animated. I'm more, what is wrong with she you? She wants to stay in character. All right, let me tell you the funny, my, the funniest Tony Robbins story, right? So I'm in Sacramento doing a show. Tony is one of the only comedians that will pop on me on me in any city. You never know. If he know you close, he coming, right? Oh, I forgot. I will <laughs> never forget this shit because I didn't know he had a, <laughs> had a white boy, right? So I'm standing outside. I'm calling Tony. I'm like, Tony, where you at? You'll see me in a few minutes and shit, right? I'm standing, me and Big E standing outside. <laughs> So I'm like, yo, who the fuck is playing like this motherfucking gothic rock music shit? Who the fuck? I, I, Here come Tony. Woo! <laughs> I got like, a G. Fuck? You ain't know I was a white boy? <laughs> ah! I didn't say that. He got the fucking roof off. Hell he's, yeah. He's like, you this can't hear good. this shit? What group that was what, Led Zeppelin. What, I, collect, I collect classic rock. I don't listen to what none of that. What was it? What was it? Led Zeppelin? Uh, oh, a whole lot of love. I, I can't. Bum, 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 bum. Pump got a whole lot of love. I said, come on, man. And Big E, he like, he in the front of just some bullshit. <laughs> you need to get your ass. He get was like, I'll listen to radio. Y'all, what you don't know about me? This is real music. I don't, I don't talk like that, man. Yes, you do. <laughs> I said, I didn't know you had an inner white I'm going to do Bill. I never he said, said Tom, I didn't know you had a Jeep, man. <laughs> Brother, man, I didn't know. <laughs> Yeah. But you had a Jeep in this bitch. Yo, I remember one time, <laughs> on one time, this motherfucker said the craziest shit to me. He was like, you look like a motherfucker that sell cologne at Macy's. <laughs> <laughs> but don't you look like this dude? Hey, how you doing? <laughs> That's a smooth shit right there. He gave you something else smell just like that one. This is the other. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you're allergic to shit, huh? Yo, so listen. <laughs> He that dude. I can't even do a regular <laughs> interview with him. Okay, so we shoot Mr. Box Office, right? And so we're doing scenes. When I tell you they cannot write what Tony Roberts can say in the moment. But they won't let us say what they we want to say. They would not let him be him. I, I made him on the show for that reason. I said, yo, he's going to be my guy that's going to say mm -hmm. whatever, whatever, whatever. And Byron Allen was just so corny. He told me you said that too. And, and I'm like, I said, I said Byron, we got to have Tony. Tr Who's he? I said, don't worry about it. Tony T. Roberts is going to make this show a hit. Trust what I'm telling you. This Wait a minute. He flew me in uh -huh. from Philly. I was doing some shows. Okay. He flew me in that morning. I got to the Burbank. He had a quick meeting with me. Gave me the job and flew me back. No, I'm... I, he I, did that shit on the phone. <laughs> <laughs> he got a crush on me or something. No, he wanted to see you. No, the thing about it was, because I was so big on you, I was just like, yo, this guy's, this is the guy. Did you have to take your shirt off of him? No. no, I, no, it, no. I did. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, I didn't. No, oh my God. No, what is wrong with you? I'm just saying. What I, no, I, had, I, I wanted Tony, Tony Roberts to be my guy because I was like, yo, first of all, I wanted him on television, period. I was executive producing the show. We need so a show. We're going to get another one. We're going to get we another need a one. Show. Yo, you know, listen. We to are me. so opposite. The shit but we that he to. would say in the moment. Do you understand, like, trying to say your lines and he going to say some kamikaze shit? And I'm here shaking. Some kamikaze shit. Like, 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 we, we, he'd be like, but that's what I would really say. And By Byron would come out, guys, guys, can we go with the script? He was like, I ain't saying this shit. This shit is corny than a motherfucker. You really? <laughs> what, Nick? No, and then we'll do what the line. And shit, I do dude? I do it my way. And they go cut. They said, Tony, did you see the script? That's not that's not the line. I said it should have been. <laughs> this is the other stuff in front of How how do you? How do no, you no, no, just how I met him. Well, go, go. I was a young comic. I, I moved to New York, did Def Comedy Jam, first time on TV. I did I moved to New York, 
They said, come on, go to the Peppermint Lounge in, in Jersey. Oh, and he yeah. was hosting. It was the worst room in the world. They don't like nobody but him. Right. <laughs> so I'm a, you know, I'm, I'm a bad dude. I just did a Def Jam. You know? He said, hey, give me about a good seven minutes. I said, seven minutes? I got way more than that. I got the mic. I got two minutes, two and a half minutes in. They're like, oh, whatever, whatever. I don't know what the fuck is going on. I'm Tony Roberts. I thought I was. Right. And then I gave you, you gave me, got the mic. You said, give it up for him, y'all. Don't be so hard on him. So the comics was like, what happened? I said, they don't like shit. Nobody but the pretty nigga. <laughs> <laughs> I can I'll never forget that shit. <laughs> Yo, because the peppermint. That's how I met him. Listen, the peppermint was so hard because they they were a real crowd. You know, there was a very urban room. Everyone knew my club was so tough, and you had to jump on them. Like it was like it wasn't the Apollo, but it was a version of Apollo because they seen all the. They funny wanted you with the with the with the with the, with the goddamn good hair and the suit. <laughs> yeah, they wanted booty call. <laughs> And then we ain't got that shit, nigga. We got. <laughs> but listen, Tony. Everybody can't be a realtor. Tony, you earned your stripes. Listen to me, oh, bro. Oh, no, I had to. Listen to me, bro. You started Humble Beginnings coming out of Detroit. People don't know you a baseball player either. Yeah, they don't This know motherfucker that. is li- really I'm baseball Dominican. Baseball first. He's literally Dominican or something. Because <laughs> I, I, I was with him somewhere and he had a glove. He's like, mm, mm, mm. The fuck, man. You don't know I love baseball? Yeah, man. I used to, what man, was your what? love for baseball? How did that happen? I just love baseball. I just love it. A lot of black people don't like baseball. I love it. Well, I'm black and I got the white in me, but you know. See now you want to. The admit. white boy they recognize me. <laughs> Rock <What>? on, motherfucker. <laughs> <laughs> they know me. No, like what is it? Because very few people that I know love baseball the way that you and you are a true. Detroit. People don't know black people. Real black people they like baseball and handsome white girls. <laughs> You ever see a black guy with a white girl? She hideous. We into that. <laughs> Yo, what, what, what? We what like you? to see a white guy go, oh, shit, hey, what's up? <laughs> <laughs> what is your affinity for baseball? Just, I just always wanted to ask you that. Why do you like baseball? I so understand much? the game. Mm-hmm. I understand every pitch can, can change. This next pitch can change the whole game. Mm-hmm. I played. I played all my life. Played in, in high school, played second base. When I got in the Army, I, had, I made um, the military team. When I didn't have to do nothing but travel, for one season, I made second string, second base, and it was fast pitch. It was the real deal. And the second, I went out again the next year, and I couldn't even see the ball. I did. I gave it up. So yeah, I love baseball, man. Can then I, I t- do football, but I'm baseball you, first. I'm gonna tell you a funny thing that I didn't realize about baseball, right? So you ever get a chance to throw out the first pitch? No, I always don't, wanted to. Don't do it. Don't do it unless you're too, ready. You I'll seen Fifty nervous. Cent throw it? Do you see Fifty Cent? He got the worst first pitch <laughs> he ever. Right? He looked like Thirteen Cent when he yeah. threw that ball. <laughs> He like Tevin Campbell when he threw that damn. <laughs> <laughs> but the thing that people don't realize the 50, is how the far 50, it is. The, what is it? The 23 questions. What's that song? He got 21 questions. The 22nd question. What the fuck was you doing out there? <laughs> <laughs> so I, I'm at the Houston. Uh, I'm at the Houston Astros thing. They were in the playoffs or something. I'm doing the show in Houston. They let me do the first pitch. Did you? Bro, I didn't realize how far it is. It, tell Yo, you, man. Yo, it's a goddamn mile and it's high. So once you walk, I was like, "Don't tell me you threw a pop-up." No, no. (laughs) You did some Taylor Swift shit. Did you see my shit? You're supposed to do this. No, no, bro. If you (laughs) don't tell me you did this, yo, white auntie shit. Tony, Tony, it is so far. I know. People don't realize it. Like on TV, it might look regular. When you get up there and you on that mound and it's like it's high and you got to put, bro. That's why people get up there and look crazy because they think they can throw it regular. You got to yeah. put some smoke on that thing. I throw a ball. I pitch. You pitch? I pitched before. I got the shit knocked out my shit, but I pitch. But I, I, I got tell a you what. Curve. I can't better, got a lot of tricks, but I can throw the ball hard. I can I'm going to tell straight you what. When you're you going to get that first pitch, you're going to do the same thing I did. No, oh. I ain't going to do all that shit. I'm gonna, I got to get a couple of warm ups. I'm going to throw it straight down. No, you this. not. You're I'm not going to. I'm going to make Tony. that glove pop. No, you not. See, that's what. This is how the catcher, the catcher did when you threw the ball. <laughs> Tony, it is so <laughs> goddamn far. I, I literally, I didn't lobby it, but I threw it high because I didn't want it to God skip. Goddamn right you lobby it. The fuck I ain't lobby it. You know how far it is? Bro, bro, I promise you, I was so embarrassed. You're Bill Bellamy. You threw bro. that ball like Bill Clinton. <laughs> you Bill Bellamy. <laughs> if I was there, you would have went your ass back out there and did it right. No, no, listen, man, listen. I'm not, 
I can't wait. You better call me when you do it, too. Because you're going to be embarrassed. I promise you not going to make it. It's far as fuck, bro. I'm going to throw it. I'm going to throw it right down his goddamn throat. I can pitch. I'm going to give it. I'm gonna, I know how to. Because you got to pitch with this your back. This is documented. This is documented. You got to pitch with your Carmel, back, not your this arm. this is documented. You did this. When you, you did. I promise you, when you throw it, you're going to look like you got a handicapped arm. Watch what I tell you. No, man. I, I, I've been throwing for a while. I've been throwing for years. I know okay. how to pitch. Right. You got to pitch with your back. The oh. whole, your hip, your you back. See? That's see? What a, that's what a strength at. This that's, is when you. This but you, when you, 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 you was going, gone. <laughs> <laughs> Whatever. You was in love with them. You was all just, they gave you the ball. You like, what did I do with this? <laughs> Why so far? All right, let's stay Then you got the mound to help you. you let's stay baseball, focused. People. You, you let's are stay focused. you are one of the only comics that I've ever seen outside of maybe A-Train that you travel with your wife. And she is your anchor. She is your manager. She is your. And is a threat. She, she is a threat. And she, she fast, she do security, she do everything. How did you and Carmel meet? Like, just give me an idea. Because I love y'all together. That You guys just like, are wonderful. I did a show in Sacramento uh -huh. years ago, 16 years ago. And I seen her, and somebody introduced us to her. No, I did it in 02. Somebody introduced us, mm -hmm. just real quick. And I was like, just staring at her. Because I never, you know... So then six years later, I go back to Sacramento and run into her again. And never, and that same feeling was there. Oh, that's dope. And she said the same with me, but I didn't believe it. But, but you know, <laughs> she's trying to steal my feelings. You know what I'm saying? She's trying so, to steal your feelings. Yeah, have your own but I feelings. felt, I'm like, I'm, that's that girl. That's her. I mm -hmm. met her again, and uh, I just started visiting Sacramento, and it was, I just moved to Sacramento from L.A. I was living in Burbank. And uh, I never met a Filipino woman. Right. You know, so I thought she was Chinese. Right. She said, You know, right. black people, we think everybody yeah, Chinese. Yeah, well, when I first met her, and we I finally we started dating, I took her to, back to Detroit. And you know, Detroit, we ain't got no goddamn, we got black people, white people. Right, that's it. And she said, uh, My cousin was like, You see Tony's Chinese girlfriend? I said, She's not Chinese, she's Filipino. They're like, What? Whatever, rice is rice. <laughs> 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 Yeah, so we got together, man, and we found out. I think our, our, our relationship is spiritual. Yeah, I, wasn't, I believe that. The person I used to be, you remember back on the road. Yeah. The person I used to be, mm -hmm. when I got with her, I asked God, because I'm, I'm, you know, I talk to God every day, but mm -hmm. I asked God, I said, if you make this work, I will be a diff I'll be the solid person. Right. The solid boyfriend, the solid husband one day, solid father and all that. And she went through her ups and downs mm -hmm. with all her exes is ridiculous. Right. <laughs> so I don't know who had the worst meal. <laughs> so, right, right. And then we got it together. I think we 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 compliment each other. We just like, you know, you know. I believe that, man. And, and my uh, wife is like, just like, soon plan A don't work. Ah! That's her. Right. I got plan A, B, C, then I got, fuck it, let's do something else. Right. <laughs> I got everything planned. I don't, I'm calm. You know, I'm like. You know, I got an answer for everything. I, right. I, I'm going to sleep good, but if, I, if it ain't the right answer, you know. Need on the haystack. How you find need on the haystack? Burn the hay. It's right there. <laughs> God damn, we got to go. We can't sit and do this all day. That's me. My wife was a feeling this emotional. Jesus. Right, but that's that, that that's women, though. You know what I mean? Yeah. They give us the balance. You know, this the yin and the yang. And what I love most about you is, like, you're this amazing comedian, and you're a father, and you like love your kids. Like, oh man, I'm in you life, are yeah. hauling ass to get home. Like, I, I haul ass to get home. You know what I'm saying? And um, I talk about my whole family. On yo, stage. it's so about dope. My family, like, Detroit, like, my kids. I, I got I, you. You invited me to the house. I ate so much goddamn food. You had this big ass dog. I remember the big ass yeah. dog. You had. Let me tell y'all a funny story. Pound, can I tell y'all? Can I tell a funny story? So. I'm in, I'm in Cleveland, right? Wait, is it about me again? It's about you. Shit. So I'm in Cleveland, and Courtney G, who right. was R.I.P., yes, he boy. was a comedian that ran, he was breeding these cane corsos, right? So cane corso is a huge pit bull. It's a 1,000 pounds. It's a man it's, with a tail. Right, it's a man with a tail. <laughs> so real quick, I'm at the radio station. They said Courtney G got a prize, so he got he got a, he got a, he got a gift for you. I said, what the fuck? <laughs> I'm doing a radio interview, and he walk in with a dinosaur, right? So I was like, what the fuck is that? He was like, yo, this is my baby right here. This is Gladiator. 
He a puppy. He 80 pounds. <laughs> in about 18 months, he gonna be 1,000 pounds. He gonna protect you, your family, your kids, your wife, you everybody. I said, man, I'm not bringing that motherfucker to my, <laughs> to my house. house. He said, B, what's wrong? That's disrespect. I said, bro, look at that. That's a puppy. That motherfucker <laughs> is bigger than a pickup truck. Cut to not even a year later. This is Tony. Oh, oh, I can't control this motherfucker. Oh, oh. No, hell no, hell no. <laughs> I said, where you get that fucking dinosaur from? Courtney G. Courtney G. Mel yeah. he melt look, he sent it to us in the email. Am I lying? He had he to put him on the plane. Into, how did you get that fucking dog? Well, my wife grabbed him. He was <laughs> he just got the plane. It was a little puppy. When he went game, when my wife grabbed him, his paws went off her shoulders like this. <laughs> She was like, oh, get him, baby, get him, get him. <laughs> he was still licking him like this, just licking him. We were, listen. We but that was her boy, though. That she. What was his name? Rebel. Rebel. All right, so, true story. We're shooting, we're shooting uh, Mr. Bax office, right? <laughs> oh, I, yeah. I, I, this is a true story. I didn't know Tony ended up getting the cane corso, right? So he was like, Bill, you got to see my dog, blah, 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 blah. I said, what? He said, Courtney G gave me a cane corso. I said, you got that goddamn dog. Two minutes later, Bill! Who? Oh, oh, no. I'm trying. Hey, I'll be right back. This motherfucker got a pee pee. <laughs> he got a pee pee. I'm like, yo! He was dragging you. Carmel was no, trying to walk with him. Stop, Alex Rebel! Thomas. Rebel! Alex Thomas. I'm your mother! <laughs> Alex Thomas. This is a true story. The Alex dog Thomas. was huge. He was so strong. What made y'all do that? Y'all look like y'all look shit. Wait a minute, a we was poodle. on the set on a lot. We're on the TV lot, and Alex <laughs> Thomas trailer next to mine. He's scared of dogs real bad. Uh -huh. I said, Alex, that's my dog. He's seen it. And the first thing he did was, ah! 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 I said, what the fuck? Who are you? What the, what's wrong with you? <laughs> I know you even scream that, that loud. That, ah! Let's go, oh! Don't go, ah! <laughs> Yo, and the thing about this dog, right? He was the sweetest dog, but he was just so big. Like you just never see these dogs are huge dogs. Nah. They're like they're made for farms. But they wasn't they wasn't around in California on the West Coast. You don't see them. Everybody em. was asking them, what was that? When I take him to the dog park, let me tell you, when he poop, I'm the only one in the dog park with a shovel and a bag, <laughs> a garbage bag. I gotta pick this shit up. I'm, I'm on I'm on road service. <laughs> Everybody was like, hey, hey, the horse is pooping. He pooping. Who, who horse is this? <laughs> I got my shovel. I got it. Be, be calm. That was Kamel. That was my wife's boy, man. Oh, my, she, she loved. But you know what? When we first got him, he wouldn't listen to her. And uh, Courtney G told us to gain his respect. She got to take his hands, his arms, and take him by the neck and his body out and swing him around. Just swing him around. And he was just losing his mind looking at her. And... And then he 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 got he started fearing her. He she probably to was her. mad at you. She was imagining it was you choking your no. ass out. No, but you know what? My wife is boot camp. My wife do three workouts a day and the Peloton. The Peloton. She on the Peloton so much. I thought it was a vibrator on that damn thing. <laughs> She's like, yeah, yeah. I'm like, what is wrong with you? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I'm on the, hey, and I do the Peloton sometimes. But when I do it, I think they can see me. Cause what? I stop and go, this nigga. <laughs> I go, okay. I look behind the screen. Like, Can this nigga see me? <laughs> Cause I, I quit. That shit hurts. <laughs> see, I told y'all. This is why. <laughs> this is why I have him on my podcast. This because this guy to be around him. You know this podcast missing air what? condition. <laughs> so, I wish I could tell this story. Hey, Auntie, how you doing? I wish I could tell this story because this is the funniest thing you ever did in front of somebody. It's two things you've done I can't do. but this you lying, I'm, I'm going to tell them you're lying. This is a funny story, right? So we're on this cruise together. I will <laughs> never forget this shit. And um, sometimes comedians don't stop being comedians, right? Like, there's certain comedians that's always trying to, like, be a comic all day, right? And there's a comedian named Jay Lamont that we love. He does... <laughs> that's Carmel my boy. story. He so, did music with his mouth. So, so like when you meet him, when you meet him, say say hi, Jay. I'm gonna tell you. I'm gonna tell you how. This is how you act. Go. Say say hi, Jay. Hey, Jay, how you doing? <laughs> hey, 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 hey. I tell you a story about Ron. I was like, hey, hey hello, hello, hello. Like he's like, I said, hello, nigga. What dearly you doing? Beloved, that? Dearly beloved. He's always doing an impersonation. And dearly beloved, we're gathered here today. And you're like, Jay, Jay. <laughs> 
pew, 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 so, pew. so Tony, whenever, whatever Tony's so thinking. I'm going symbols out your face if you don't. Listen to me. Whatever Tony's thinking, I'm his soundboard, right? <laughs> so so we on the cruise and uh we we going through the thing and Jay's being crazy and Tony will come over to me, is he driving you fucking crazy? Yes. Why is he always doing sound effects? I said, Tony, I don't know, that's his thing. Man, if he do one more symbol, if he do one more goddamn pew pew, <laughs> wait, it's, it's building up. I like the dude too. But he God like damn, the dude. He is, but yeah, it's he, driving. He's in, it's driving Tony crazy, right? So he ain't got no bitches. Right, right. <laughs> He ain't got no girlfriend. This you get, is you music a all true the time. You, fucking you get, story, right? So we're sitting no at a, No, Tony is fed up with this dude in a way where it's irritating. Where we're sitting at this long-ass table. So Tony was like, you ain't never seen him with no girl, have you? Your whole life. You ain't never seen him with a woman. Because he don't want one. I said, Tony, stop it. He was like, no. He'll I'm, fuck a drum <laughs> and a guitar before he, he would. <laughs> I don't know if this is going to air, but I'm going to say it. So, so we sitting at a long table with people with shit, right? That's my dude. And so Jay comes up, pew, 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 pew. Ryan, hello, hello. He was like, here comes sound effects. Here comes sound effects, right? So we sitting at the table, and he was like, Jay, man, I was just crazy. I've been on this thing three days, man. It's, it's a lot of gay people on here. He was like, you like you? <laughs> The C, the C was in he front of fifteen people. He was like, "What? What? What made you say that, man?" Pew, 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 pew. <laughs> what made you do that? I was like, I almost jumped in the pool. It was so fucking funny. What made you? do Cause I was up to here with this shit. <laughs> I was up to here, man. Oh, my God. It was one of the funniest moments. I think of... I played it off, too. I said, man, come on, man. I'm just, I'm just kidding. Man. I'm just kidding. <laughs> I'm just kidding. <laughs> but here's the thing. <laughs> and I'm, I'm gonna give, I want to give you your flowers, man. That's why I wanted to have you on the Jay show. Jay Lamont going to text us. You, yeah, he going he gonna to text us. <laughs> hey, I seen the pop. Um, ba -dum, ba -dum, pop. See the podcast. <laughs> we there, 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 there. We're not making this up. <laughs> This is a true story. So I've been friends with Tony so long that like this dude has just made my life so good. Like with in a sense, like I, I will always watch your sets. You're the only comedian that I wanted to buy a joke from, right? We're on the set. I said, I will give you five hundred. Oh shit, what joke? Do you, was you that? remember about the phone? IPhone, the iPhone 14. Yo, he has a and joke. And I did that when the iPhone 6 I, listen, was listen out. Listen to him. He said, every time I Seven go to the out. Apple store, I wanted this joke so bad. I never, because it was so brilliant, right? He was like, man, I'm going to tell you something, Bill. I'm sick of this. Every time I get the motherfucking iPhone 12, they come with the 13. I'm sick of going in there. No, it was at 7. It was soon, at 7 or 8, right? Soon you go by the 7, soon you come home and look at the TV, the 8 commercials on. Right. Fuck. I ain't got, I just, I just got he this. Said, he said, eventually you're going to go to the iPhone. 14. And, Wait till that come out. And you said, you're going to be the classic. phone. classic. Classic you said, you said. And you wanted, you wanted I, it, I but I, I said, nigga, this is all like, I got. I was like, please. <laughs> I need this joke. I was like, Tony, I was like, Tony, can I buy it from you? He was like, nope. No, because I No, I'm it. about to do it tonight. I'm about to do it on the, because my third, I, I, I did it my was third brilliant. one I was special, it was City brilliant. Mouth, and it was one of the so top. You, you, were, you did it on. I did it because oh my it, was, God. it was smoking. It was such a funny joke because you, were, you said you. Uh, uh, eventually, we're gonna become the phone. You're gonna be like, hello? When the iPhone 14 come out, you're gonna go in the store, they're gonna say, can I help you? I want the iPhone 14. You already got it. You say, what? When you walked in the store, it went in your bloodstream. <gasps> I am the iPhone 14? <laughs> and you try to be hit and try to call somebody. Mama, I'm calling you from my body. <laughs> <laughs> and then you be in the club all like this, all lazy. <laughs> hey, somebody say, hey, brother, you all right? I, I'm 2%. <laughs> Get a charge, help this man. Anybody got a charge? Help. <laughs> and then you'll be walking and you and they cut your phone off, you just collapse on the street. <laughs> they cut your phone off. <laughs> bro, bro, he did that. Yeah, that was a class that, that came joke, out like a classic. Listen classic. to me, listen to me clear. We're laughing right now. He did that shit on the set. I said, Tony, how did you think of that? I wanted to get your opinion, not I wanted to give it to I you. I wanted to buy it. <laughs> uh, no. You can't and tell. No, no, this <laughs> is true. And all day while we were shooting, I kept saying, it's in my passing. I said, don't do that joke. 
Don't do it. I'm not but, giving but, you the joke. But I'm giving I'm you your you flowers, the bro. I'm giving you your flowers. It's brilliant. Like your your the way you think and the way you write no, to me is so good. No, I think so you good. went. You did a show at the Laugh Factory, uh -huh. Chocolate Sunday, and I heard you're gonna be there. And I ran up there and wanted to look at your set to see if you're gonna do that damn joke. <laughs> I was no, like, I'm gonna fuck him up. No, I'm, not gonna, I'm not gonna. I'm he not. said, who got, who got a phone? I go, what? <laughs> and he didn't do it. I'm like, shit. No, listen, listen, man. Breaking my nerves, man. I want it, I want, I want everybody to know this, and I'm, I'm gonna stand on this. You are definitely top five for me, and you will always be because I just feel like you are what comedy is. It's the top five? Top five. You're my top five, bro. For, Brother, on God, I appreciate bro. you. No, I'll be honest. I got, no, I got you in my top 14. 14. <laughs> I mean, I'm, I mean, it's a lot more than that. But, right, right, but right, you right, right in that. 14. You know, no, it's like one, two, three, four, 14, but you like right there. Right there. Like 13 and a half. Listen, I want to give no, you I your flowers, like, like for the world, right? Because you're in my top five for, for various reasons, right? Because one, you are exactly what comedy should be honest, energy, funny, hilarious, energetic. Like you bring all the right elements to the game. And I feel like... Wait, let me stop you here. Wait, wait. I'm going to tell you what happened to me. What happened? I think this will happen. When I was doing comedy back in the day, I was doing it for the hoes. Right. For the women. And my mama going to see this. <laughs> I was doing it for the hoes. Okay, right, right. So I was just running off and just wasn't, you know. When I met my wife and all that shit drained out, I was art. I was doing it for the for the for for me. Right. I was doing it for this the pattern and tell my story and I was I was loving it. I wasn't loving it then back then. I was doing it for the hoes. Right. <laughs> and, but you found the And love. a little five hundred dollars. Thank you, Carmel. For Thank you for had. bringing this yeah. quality lifestyle to this crazy man. <laughs> huh? I don't know how she lived with you, but anyway, more to the story is that you are a incredible talent. To know you personally and to watch you do your craft to me is a treat because last night I watched you and I was just, I, I I get a joy watching you in a sense where it's like, that's my guy, but he is brilliant at what he and does. And that, that wasn't that easy last night. That was like, what, 4,000 people? That's it. And then 4,000. That's you, it. You know, let me talk about that's it. <laughs> <laughs> it's it been hard at the DMV. Right. <laughs> so it was about 4,000 people. And then you get the comments that go before you and it wasn't nothing happening. Right. So I thought it was the crowd. No, it's 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 you. It's like so. I thought the crowd was just dead, gonna no, be dead all night. No, no, no. So when I went out there, it was just it was it was it was on every word. But it wasn't that hard. I had to I had to get him out that that rut they was but, in. But the thing about comedy that people um, who are watching it and listening is that you get the energy you give. Yeah. Right. So if you go in and you you want to give it to them, they're gonna give it back to you. It's an energy exchange, right? And what I enjoyed about watching you last night, and I'm gonna just tell you this, is that you bring so much love in it. It's a lot of love in it too. You're doing this joke, but you feel the love in it. It's like you're smiling and you're enjoying and you're engaging, you're looking and you're, you bring people into your world about your family and your thoughts and you knock over shit, break it, and because, you fall backwards. Look, I, I look, look at a lot of comics and some of them not my favorite because you could tell they doing comedy like they doing the people a favor. like. They the shit. Right. You you can feel that that arrogance or something. That arrogance. Right. And they jokes. They just walk around and just give you what they want. They lazy with it. I've seen you. I didn't pay attention really to your comedy for the to the last four years, and you have been like consistent. And you move around. You move around like you're not famous. <laughs> You move around like you, and then you do these face expressions. The way you talk, you're silly. You know? yeah. And people think when they see you on the street, they don't think you're silly like that. No, I'm silly. They think, yeah, you're silly as yeah, shit. Yeah, people yeah. don't think they don't see <laughs> they don't see clown from you. No, you but stand, I you love comedy clown. like like I love it like you do. Like I love and making people laugh. You act it out. You do these man. expressions like this is so in Martha's Vineyard in a little <laughs> high school auditorium. And then that bullshit it's auditorium. Like we was, this like the place where they sold slaves, didn't it? Yeah, it looked crazy. So. You was like so whatever, ha, <laughs> motherfucker. <laughs> I'm like, Bill is a clown. <laughs> but you've been doing that. For, I haven't paid attention to you until the last four years. Thank you. You've been consistently. You Billy D. Williams. I'm Billy D. You Billy D. Williams of comedy. You called one day. You one day you called me a mannequin. You said you said some shit. He was like, What is wrong with you? You are not real. 
Yeah, you're a mannequin. You like you look a goddamn mannequin. Yeah, you like, like you don't have no like. It was something you was thinking that I look like to you. You was like you too. Because you still look thirty. Yeah, but I'm only seventy three. Like, like a thirty that been through shit. I am though. <laughs> <laughs> you're like a, a stressed out thirty though. Like, no, listen. You listen. look thirty though, dude. Thank you, man. How old are you? Now I am fifty seven. You have to think about it? What the fuck you come Because I forget. I don't think about my age. You made me think about how old I because I don't I don't think it. about my age till I get up and try to do the first step. I go, motherfucker, you 60. <laughs> I saw that the other day that you had a birthday this year and it, you said you was a happy... I was like, ain't no way you're 60 years old. I, don't, I didn't believe Listen it Listen to either. me. Every time I get up in the morning, I'm biracial. Because I get up, all I hear is crack, crack, snap, crack, crack. So I'm black and Rice crispy. <laughs> Listen to me. Listen to me. I think what keeps us young is our sense of humor. Because mm -hmm. I don't know nobody when I was a kid that said they were 60 that looked like you and have the energy. Them, that era is over. Anybody that was 60 when I was a child nah, you're crazy. Was, is like, whoo, they, 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 they done. Your yeah. 60 is the, is the benchmark. Yeah. Like, you are. I got a young looking family, though. My mom, mm -hmm. my dad was like in his early 90s when he passed. My mom, 84 years old, she looks 65. She in the home right now in Detroit, smoking a blunt right now, kicking it. <laughs> Talking about her friends. She don't give a shit. My mother up and about, running around, kicking it, got a wig on. You know, she, my mother is so dope. So are you, are, you, are you this funny with your kids, too? Or, or do you have to be a pro? They don't think I'm funny. When Mr. Box Office aired, she said, hey, y'all, come on, Dad's on TV. They said, it's just Dad. So that next Christmas, I was, they said, what is this? It's just an orange. But my, I know, like, That's my a kids, present. I feel like, too. <laughs> it's just fruit. My kids yeah. be like that too. Sometimes I'll, I'll be like wondering if are my kids proud of me, right? So I had a show. You was on the show. We was at Barclays. You was on the show. Just oh yeah, we yeah. was together, right? Okay. So you know I brought my kids, right? Yeah. So a funny shit, right? I'm thinking my kids is gonna come in the room and be like, "Daddy, yo, mm. you killed that. That was lit." Blah blah blah. My kids was like, "Daddy, can you uh, introduce me to the baby?" <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, because his dressing room was right next to mine. And they was like, we want to meet the baby. Shit. You remember? And yeah, I was like, funny. Dad, what, I, I want to say that. But you know, Daddy. You my know, kids Daddy. was like 13 and 12. And that's let them see my show live. Uh, right. It was up on the banister and looking between this, the, the thing up in the um, Tommy T's. Right, right, right. And they was in there looking at between the banister. They were going, oh, he's bad, bad words. He's doing bad words. He's talking about mom. <laughs> I do this sexual joke me with, my, with my daughter. My mom, my, my wife would do this sexual joke. She go, I can't believe he said that you do like this shit. Right. <laughs> I say they wanted to see me live. I let them see me like when I was 12 years old. Now, years now old. that I that I've seen your kids, you know, what your son, he went off to play ball, went overseas. This is this is he's a he went overseas to play um six years. Right? In the PBA. Correct. Played pro ball over there. Mm -hmm. Came out of Sac State. Got drafted in people. He had dual citizenship. So my wife from, from the Philippines. So the citizenship was dual. It was easy for him to do it. They wanted him to pay good money. Now he's the assistant coach of Santa Cruz College. Let's go. Boom. He's doing it. He's doing it, baby. So tonight, for you guys, um, we are performing at the Airy Crown. Mm -hmm. um, I wanted to have my comedian friends come on the podcast and like and have fun, you know what I'm saying? And I really wanted Tony to come on because this is what we, this is how we. I've been are. seeing people on your podcast. I thought you didn't want me on it. <laughs> no. you, know, <laughs> no. you got my number, goddammit. I know, I know. It, everything happens. I'm gonna get the podcast too. I'm gonna wait till two years to get you on it. No, listen, listen, <laughs> Tony. I love you. I want to, before we get out of here, I just want to ask you. We you always sit in do, the chair too. Yeah, I'm gonna Not get you a the, better chair. You in a you in a little boo boo. In a leather chair. cooler. <laughs> I want to, we do this thing called um, uh, all facts, right? So we ask our guests a question, mm -hmm. and you just got to tell the truth. Okay, cool, ready? Three. All facts with Tony T. Roberts. All facts, Tony. If you could put together the funniest comedy show ever, who would be the five comics that you would pick to be on the show? You, you're producing it. Who would be past, future, present, like, or whatever? Any comic. Any comic. Alive or dead. What would, what would the show consist of? Wow. It's a good one, right? Red Fox, Bernie Mac. Ooh. Red Fox, Bernie Mac, Robin Harris, oh. you, and Lance Woods. Lance Woods from Sacramento, California. Oh. He's a young comic. You don't really know him now. He's one of the funniest comics. He opens oh. for me. Oh, my Nobody God. Nobody would let him open for them because they can't follow him. He that funny. Yo. And uh, 
That's the five. I'm a, real quick. You funny as shit, man. You sure? I don't tell you a lot, because I ain't on your dick. <laughs> <laughs> but <laughs> you funny as shit. Thank you, man. I love you. You really, that. I don't watch a lot of comments, man. It, it's funny, it's cool. You funny as fuck. But we, for we, real. We brothers for life, Matter of fact, you got a joke I want, if which, you don't mind. Which one? Which one? I can't say it, because I might say it. Y'all might, I might say it somewhere. They might say, that's Bill's joke. <laughs> Which one? Which no, one? No, no. All right, fuck it. All right, anyway, real quick, real quick. I'm gonna say this. I tell you later. I don't tell you. I tell, tell you later. <laughs> <laughs> All right, real quick, real quick. If you were able to go back and talk to the young Tony, the 20 year old Tony, you know, now you you're 60. Let's go back 40 years. What would what advice would you give the young Tony T. Rob? Quit being a bitch. Quit being so scared, and go ahead and get on stage and do your thing because you was born to do this. Listen to God. Quit listening to yourself. Get out your way. Quit doubting. Have faith. Go to get baptized. I've been baptized 22 times. And I don't know if it's working, but I'm trying to get in. You know, I be fucking up. So, <laughs> so I got to go at least two more times. Okay. So, yeah, I tell myself, if I had the, the, the balls that I got now when I was 21, mm -hmm. I'd be booty call. I'd be with Bill Bell. <laughs> booty call. I would have been to Def Jam immediately. I would, with I, would you, been, man. I would have went straight to LA. I would have oh. got their face. I didn't have it in me. I was I was always, I was too shy. That's why. Because you don't look why, like you would be shy, but stage, you really are a little I'm bit. I'm telling you shit that people don't know about me. When yeah. I go on stage, I never underestimate a crowd. Never. I never mm. take it for granted. I don't think people gonna like me. Any crowd. That's why I attack them and punch them in their face so hard right. to make them like me. Right. I don't, I don't know if they dig me or not. And so you, so every night you go out to prove. Every it. time I go out there, every time I see a crowd, I look out there. They ain't gonna like me. And you go hard. And I go in their ass, and I'm the, and I'm the nigga they talk about in their car when they way home. But I, I don't take a, no crowd for granted. No nights off for Tony T. Roberts. No. <laughs> no. I don't go out there all like, yeah, you know, what's up, y'all? Yeah, yeah, I'm Tony Roberts. You know, I don't but have But you that. would never do that. I don't, have the, I don't have that ego in me. Listen to me. Listen to me clearly. I'm going to give you a flower. I'm nervous for these niggas. I uh, know. <laughs> it's my family. They know me every day. I don't know what I'm, I don't want to, I can't even lie right now. Right, they right, know right, me. right, right. But, but that's, a, that's an edge for you, right? We all have something to prove. You know what I'm saying? Like, for me. I appreciate it. I appreciate it. I'm humble, right? Like, I came up different. Like, I didn't, when I came in a comedy game, I didn't look like a comedian. Like, people used to be, like, hating on me because it was like, He's a mannequin. Yeah, yeah, I'm a mannequin, right? So they're like, yo, you too pretty, you too this, you too that. Martin it's like somebody drew you and dropped you. Because <laughs> you're not perfect, but like somebody drew you and dropped you. Cause you got flaws, but you 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 right, got right, right. you got the skin like a like a hooker's ass, like a, a stripper's ass. Stripper's ass are they they no blemishes, it's no blemishes, no marks on it. You like a stripper's ass. Thank cheek. you very much. Thank you, thank you, thank you but, kindly. This is the type of shit I got to deal with with this motherfucker. But we know he Bill Bellamy. All right, so listen, y'all, man. This has been a pleasure to have my. You good got friend. boxing glove skin. They <laughs> it's so shiny and like leather. Listen. <laughs> We could go on forever. Is this you right here? Just I just piece. want, I want the world to hear. He ain't wet deodorant. <laughs> he can't stink. I wanted the world to see my best friend in comedy. This brother is amazing, beautiful family, <laughs> father, husband. He does it all. Can we make a round of applause for my brother Tony T. Oh, give it up one more God. time for Bill Bellamy. The black Ethiopian African dude. Thank you. MC and my people call me Bill. When I'm I told you. <laughs>